Hello everybody, Mr. Brown here. When you make better choices, you will live a better life. So choose well. Oh yeah. If they have an activity for you that can help you all choose well as a family, and you can choose the attitude of gratitude. I choose the attitude of gratitude. Let me explain it. I saw a video the other day that kind of just made me really, 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 really think about how I express gratitude. Video goes like this. This guy wakes up in the bed and he gets up and he's wrapped in gift wrapping paper. And he looks around, next to him is his wife. She's wrapped in gift wrapping paper. His kids walk in, they're wrapped in gift wrapping paper. And as he walks around the house, the, the electricity, the water faucet, all these things had either bows or wrapped in gift wrapping. And this guy was so excited for all these things because the water was running, his kids were there, he had food. As a matter of fact, the funniest part was he went out to his car, it was wrapped in gift wrapping paper. He's like, I got a car! He was so excited. That man reminded me of the importance of gratitude for the stuff we already have. We have a lot of things. Now, Christmas is coming, and some of us will not get the gifts we want. Some of you will be like me when I was a kid. I wanted a pony for Christmas. But I lived in the hood. I don't know how I'm gonna have a pony in the hood because we really couldn't feed the pony in the hood and we didn't have no space in the house with pony. But I wanted a pony because I watched all of the car all of the commercials. And after every cartoon I watched, it was commercials about all these things and I wanted a pony. Well, I didn't have the attitude of gratitude because I didn't get a pony for Christmas. I got socks and underwear. And I kind of pouted. But instead, I should have been like, thank you for my socks. Kids, if you get socks for Christmas, if you get underwear for Christmas, I want you to say, thank you for my socks. Thank you for my undies. Because guess what? We all need them. And aren't you glad you got them? Say, oh yeah. So I want you to practice the attitude of gratitude. It's a choice. Say it with me. It goes like this. I choose the attitude of gratitude. To be grateful for what you already have versus always looking for the next new thing. And kids, let me tell you the truth. It's not just y'all that struggle with it, us adults struggle with it too. We struggle with it because we're always looking somewhere else, but we need to take a pause, take a time out to be grateful for what we already have. So here's the activity. Go out and get a bunch of bows like this. I handed some of these out um, to some people already. Just a bunch of simple bows like this. And go around your house and place bows on things that you're grateful for, that you already have. Now don't go put them on your daddy's head, but you can put them on a picture of your parents, your siblings, Maybe you can put one on the toilet, because aren't you grateful your toilet works? Maybe you can put it on your refrigerator. There's so many things that you be grateful, and leave them up all through Christmas, because this can be a simple reminder to choose the attitude of gratitude, to choose to be grateful for what you already have and not always focusing on what you don't have. That makes sense, say, oh yeah. Did you say, oh yeah? I, I hope you said, oh yeah. I can't hear you, but it would be really cool if you said, oh yeah. So let's, let's do that over. Can you say, oh yeah? Oh yeah. Again, simple bows, just place them because I want you to choose that attitude of gratitude. Our family did it and it was exciting to see what my kids chose to put bows on. Even my wife, she chose one of the best things to put a bow on, me. But the idea is to think about what you already have and choose the attitude of gratitude. Let's do it one more time. You can go and do the activity right now or as soon as you get some bows. Ready? I choose the attitude of gratitude because it's a choice and when you make better choices you will live a better life so choose well and choose the attitude of gratitude